to almost knock my mini album over. Hi, crafty people. It's Rena, and today I have a design team project for nothing, for no one. This is just because I felt like doing it, and I am very, very happy with it. Let me see if I can put it back a little further just so you can see the whole kit and caboodle. That is it. So I used an absolutely incredible image from Saturated Canary. Absolutely loved her um, for the cover of this mini album. I used the Heartfelt Creations Under the Sea Papers. You've been seeing that from me already and will continue to do so because I got several more 12 by 12 pads. And um, every piece of paper here is from that collection except for the craft paper, obviously. And what I did was colored up my image. Um, as you can see from the sparkles, I used some stickles in her hair and on her, uh, I don't know what to call this, her fin? I don't know. But yeah, I even stickled her eyes. And I used this great paper in the background here with the bubbles. Um, this braided trim is from Michaels and I just layered the pearls on top and I used the hibiscus paper all the way around and this great burlap trim with the lace is from Michaels and I will be going back tomorrow to get some more because I used it all up. So this is six and a quarter by six and a quarter and I used the waterfall technique. Um, I really like how it turned out much better than with the other binding systems that I've been using. So I'm going to go back to the waterfall technique. So here are our first two pages. And this page here is a, an accordion fold pocket. So each one of these pulls out. It has this cute little metal piece. And I used a craft fantastic little glass piece and there is an adorable little fish in there. Now, on these, and you can slide your photo. Let me show you. You can slide your photo underneath these metal pieces. So this opens up like this. I did not put paper on it because once all the photos are in here, this is it's going to get kind of bulky for this. So um, since I know photos will go in this, I left it like that. This one has a seashell on it and this one has a seahorse why is my camera not focusing and I love 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 the paper so much the sound of the sea speaks to my soul and all of these um, open up in our photo booklets so let's let me grab a piece of paper and a pen, and we will count how many photos can go in here. So that's um, four, and four is eight, and 12. So I did use a sentiment from the collection, you're the best. This opens up like this. Room for a photo here. And I knew I would forget to put something at the top of these. I'm going to do that. Um, these are two journaling tags, and they tuck into this little pocket area. And a photo can go back here. I'm going to put some little twine on those so they look cuter. And then it opens up like that. So we'll say three photos here and a photo here. So that's four more photos on that first page. Um, so we've got 16 on the first page. So then we have this page and I did put my braided trim down the center of each gusset. On this one we have these two little pull out tags, a journaling tag and a journaling tag and a photo can go on the back. And then a large photo can go here. I love the faded out man of wars and the bubbles oh I love it and then this opens up like that and you could put a photo here and I would say you could put two photos 
on that side. They'd have to be cropped photos. And of course, these are fussy cut from the collection. So we'll say three there, four here, and the fifth one here. So five. And then, let me put this back a little bit. I have all of these um, envelopes that I added and I used a metal piece and a glass piece. This glass piece is from Craft Fantastic and I love the shell underneath the glass, so pretty. And then this lifts up and this pulls out and you have another great tag. You can put a couple of cropped photos there, journaling or more photos on the back and then this is a journaling tag. And that just slides back into that pocket. So we'll say, we'll just say two on that, on that one. Two photos can go on there. All right, here we have um, this awesome little image with the, the, I don't know, I call it a port. Um, and I did glossy accents on it. I can see a spot that I missed. Um, and then I used the sentiment from the collection that says make a splash and I used more of that uh, burlap and braided trim. This opens like this. And so there's room for a photo here and a photo here. And then this folds down and of course a photo here and it says there is only one like you. And a photo can go there. Remembering beautiful moments with you. So there's three here, four. So four photos on that page. Okay, then we've got this page here, and I just, I so love this paper collection, I can't even tell you. So a photo obviously could go there, and this opens like this, and another photo here. This opens, and we've got that. So I would say one, two, three, four here. So let's say four. And then we have this pullout tag. And we'll say two on this one with journaling on the back. I love how these stick up higher than the book. I just really do. I love the way it looks. And this one's got the beautiful fish. So then we open up and we've got this page here with the gorgeous image. Love it. So um, more of that same um, burlap lace and um, the braided trim and then I just added the shells on top so this opens up so there's two pictures there this is the little booklet that comes out this really cute paper so three four five six seven that just slides right in there and then this opens up eight nine so nine photos, and this is magnetized, so when this is shut, that will stay. So nine photos on that page. Then we go over here, and these two are little pull-out tags. And this is more like a journaling tag, and that could be a cropped photo. And then a photo mat and a photo mat. So one, two, three. And then we've got this great spot, and I layered some um, some more of that pretty burlap trim, and I layered different elements from the collection. So that was three, this is four. Which way does this open? Five and six. So that closes up. 
six on that one. And I did fussy cut the images and use them as like little pull tabs for this cute, cute little area there. And then we've got another pocket with the journaling card. So we'll add two more photos for that. Then we open like this. And we're gonna get a little more intricate here. This is a, um, a pocket. So this is Remembering Beautiful Moments with You. And we've got this little pullout booklet and I just put the gorgeous paper life with you is fantastic and your photos would go in there and that slides into the pocket so on this one you can have four you could put five and then this opens up six seven eight nine so nine photos on this page so let's see it closes like that everything's magnetized so let me put nine all right so here we've got that same cute little port and it's got the little fish in there i made it into a shaker i put a little bit too much little shaker beads in there um, I did use some um, burlap type trim to put around that port. I like the way it came out because the port was, um, this piece here was like popped up really high and it just kind of looked odd. So I wanted to put something around it to border it. And then I have um, these fish elements that I fussy cut and popped up. This opens like this and like this so you could put a photo here and a photo here so that's two you could put a photo here three and then four five six seven and then eight nine so this one you could put nine and then of course we have the pullout tag up there that's going to add two more this one's got a fish i forgot to show you this one's got the the clamshell with the pearl so let's pull this one out we've got this paper and a journaling tag Then we open up to another accordion fold pocket. So we've got three little booklets. This one's got a seahorse. So we can fit four photos on that one. Then this one that's got the clamshell and another four, so that's eight. And then this one says Special Moments by the Sea. This one's got another seashell. And we can do four photos on that one. So that is 12. And our last page, oh, I forgot to tell you. Then on the front, these are great little, uh, they look like postage stamp images. And I had this um, trim and burlapy trim in my stash and I layered that across and um, just popped up the, the stamp images there. All right, our last page is here and this is actually one of my very favorite images from the collection. Um, these are all Spellbinder dies, this um, shape here. And this one opens like this. So you've got room for a photo here and here and here. Life with you is fantastic and you can put your photo can slide down underneath there. So that's two, three, four, five, 
and there's that sp spot over there for you know you could put a photo or you could do journaling here whichever and then we have how many did we say that was one two three four five six okay and then we have one last pull out envelope and that is it and we'll say two on that one even though you could fit more than that okay let me put that back to the front and let you look at it so that's 16 um, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 32, 41, 47, 48, 49, 50, 59, 61, 63, 70, ooh, 82, 82 is our grand total in a six and a quarter by six and a quarter. I hope you liked it. If you're interested in this album, it is available for sale. I want $110 shipped for this album. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your, the time you take to watch, the time you take to comment. I appreciate it. And I do hope you're enjoying my summer um, ocean theme projects. Have a great day.